going to be checking in with our kids on a regular basis. I wanted to show you how to use a pretty cool feature in Canvas called the big blue button. Um, and it works pretty much like Skype, but it gives you so many more options and I think it's pretty cool. So I wanted to share it with you today. All right, so in order for your kids to see that there is a link for a conference, that's the first thing you would want to set up for them. So as you can see, my conferences link is gray right now, which means my students cannot see it. In order to change that, I'm going to go to settings and I am going to go to the navigation menu. So as you can see, the conferences menu, the conferences link is disabled. It's down here. It's gray. So we can take it and we can just drag it up here and now it's enabled and the students will be able to see it. All right, so we want to save this. And now that we have the conference link enabled, we can click on conferences. And as you can see, I just created a, a conference, but I'm going to create a new one so you can see what's going on. So. In order to create a new conference, a new meeting that we can see each other, hear each other speak, you know, we go to conference, we name it. So let's name it Algebra to Intrigue Party Time. All right. So now it's the big blue button conference. That's the only option I have enabled right now. Uh, we can set the length of the conference. We can enable recording for the conference. So if you think it's going to be valuable enough for, for, to, for students to want to check back or if somebody was absent, whatever the case, you might want to enable recording or, you know, set no time limit, whatever you want to do for your conference. Okay. So at this point, I can invite all members of the course or I can select a few to invite. I can invite, right now I only have three people in my course, um, I can invite all of them, I can invite one of them depending on if um, I require everybody or you know if anyone express interest. So I'm not going to invite anyone, I'm going to update this. And so now I have my conference, the Algebra 2 Intrigue Party Time. I can start this conference and as you can see, some cool stuff will start to come up. So let's wait a second. All right, so how do you want to join the conference? Of course, you're the teacher, so you probably want to turn your microphone on. And make sure you allow your microphone to work. And now this weird thing happens. It's a it's test a to make to sure make that your microphone <laughs> is on. It is. It is. Okay. You are currently the only person in this conference. All right, so great. So now I'm pretty lonely. I'm the only person in the conference, but that's okay. I can still show you some stuff. For example, I could turn my webcam on. And then I, of course, have to allow it to happen. And it's opening. And then you can see me. Hello, I'm right here. Okay, I could start sharing my webcam, but I am not going to right now. Okay, um, I could also share my desktop with students. I could... Um, stop sharing my microphone. I could use a whiteboard. So over here we have options for a whiteboard and we can play with them. We can draw on our whiteboard, we can make shapes, whatever we want to do. So you definitely want to play with all these options over here. We can even chat, but why would we chat if our microphone is on? Maybe you have a reason to. I'm not sure. Okay, cool. So now that we have uh, taken a look at our big blue button, let's see what the students see. All right, so I'm going to go to my student view. And in my student view, let's see. So in my student view, now as you can see, there is a link for conferences. So as a student, I'm going to go to conferences. And it says I cannot access this functionality in student view because I'm not an actual student. But an actual student would be able to to probably view the conference, I am guessing. If not, there is another option, and I'll show that to you right now. So I'm going to leave student view. So make sure we leave. So of course, if you had sent out the in email invite, they could join the conference through the email. That is one way. Another way is to actually put it on their calendar. So if we scroll down into the syllabus, we'll notice that I had set up office hours. Now, 
Point to note, this does not automatically happen. In order to set up your office hours and have it show up on the syllabus, you have to put it in the calendar. So how do we put things in the calendar? Well, we use this calendar link up here that's been sitting here and not touched by me ever. Okay, so we go to calendar. And now once we are in calendar, we can schedule whatever we need to schedule. So it's taking a while to load. Okay, so once you're in calendar, oh, it disappeared again. Let's see. Come on. All right. Oh, it keeps going away. I'm not sure why. All right. Well, maybe you might want to take my word for this. Oh, there we go. It came back. Once we're in calendar, go to scheduler. And you'll notice I scheduled something here, but I'll show you how that works once again. I'm going to create an appointment group. And once I'm there, I'm going to name it. So I named the other appointment that I just made, Office Hours 1. I said it was online. I put the date and the time and all that good stuff. And then I saved and published it. And once I saved and published it, so I'm going to just X out of this because I have it here already. So once I saved and published it, then as a student, so this is the last time I'm going to go back to student view so you can see what happens. Okay, so as a student, let's get there quickly. Mm -hmm. As you can see, my computer is very low right now. Okay, so we're in student view. So now, as a student, when I'm looking at my calendar or my syllabus, I see the office hours. When I click on office hours, I see nothing yet, but it's coming. Okay, I see that I can sign up for the, the, the appointment here. So if you have office hours, but you don't want to sit there lonely by yourself with no one in that room, you can have your students schedule office hours with you. And if no one's scheduled to meet with you, then probably at that point, you don't have to attend your own office hours. But of course, if they scheduled an appointment with you, then of course you have to make sure that you're there. So you can require this for students, have them sign up for your office hours so you know when you have to be there in your conference or not. Hope this was helpful. Bye.